Ladies and gentlemen, what's crack a locking? How y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be going through everything that you need to know to hit this God mode glitch every time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I will be announcing the winner of the Game Next controller, uh, Game Netics controller, Game Next. Duh. <laughs> but I will be announcing that right after the intro here. A uh, short little something something from our video sponsors over at DigiZanny. So we're going to check that out. I'll announce the winner. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smash the like button, you know, keep my algorithm real. Subscribe to that bell notification on if you guys are new. And uh, let's get into this, baby. Come on. Let's go. All right, you guys, what everybody's been waiting for. The winner of the Game Netics controller valued at $150. Plus, we pay the shipping. Right here, here, uh, Voorhees. I, I, what is it? Damper, Damper Voorhees. Congratulations, my friend. You are the winner. I will see you in my Discord so we can get you all set up. Again, make sure you're in my Discord. Send me a private DM, and we'll get that controller sent out to you. We'll, uh, we'll just go through a few things with you. You know, we need the address. Uh, me and the owner of Game Netics and stuff like that. We'll go through it with you, buddy. And uh, yeah. Enjoy and uh, let's uh, let's get into today's uh, video sponsor. Let's do it. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Digi Zanny In Game Innovations. These guys are a Call of Duty boosting and recovery service. They already have Modern Warfare 2 boosting lobbies, which is amazing. They got everything, guys, from Call of Duty to GTA. Oh my goodness! If you guys purchase anything from them, make sure you use code Puffman. Get yourself a 10% a discount. I will be linking their website as well as their Discord in the description below. So you guys could definitely go check them out. Thank you so much for the sponsor, DigiZanny. I appreciate it. Much love to you guys. Let's get back into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So first things first, there's a few things that needs to be upgraded to get into this God Mode glitch. Now, the first thing being here, we're going to go into our skills here. We're going to go into weapon classes and we're going to go down to melee. Now your melee needs to be upgraded here. So we need that replace gun butt with melee knife. So that's level one. We need to increase a primary melee weapon bonus damage. We need to replace gun butt with bowie knife. So we need it all the way up to level three here. We also need increased primary melee weapon bonus damage. And we also need the melee damage heals you a small amount. So we need this to be leveled up all the way to level 5. You guys need to have that at level 5. The next thing being here is our perks. And for the perk, it's going to be Quick Revive. And the Quick Revive needs to be level 5 as well, guys. We need all of them. This is how we're getting into the glitch. Killing an enemy while down will revive you and remove a Quick Revive perk. So you guys need to have those two things upgraded. Once you have them upgraded, you should have no problems whatsoever getting into this uh, no target god mode. All right, next thing we got to do here is we got to go into a private match. So we're going to go down here into private. We're going to go over to onslaught and we're going to go into onslaught containment. And the one map that I find it's easiest to do on is Ubane. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to look for that map there. Uh, if you guys don't find it, all we have to do is just back out. And then rejoin up again until we get the map that we want. And look at that. Look at that first try, baby. We got it. So we're going to go into Ubane here. Uh, the two things that we're looking for, guys, is the quick revive. And we also need that self-revive as well. So make sure you guys don't go down while we're trying to get this, uh, while we're trying to get the quick revive perk. But I'll show you guys where you guys could go and stuff like that while we were in the map to make it a lot easier for you. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once we're in the game, to make everything a lot easier, I mean, the first couple rounds is going to be easy peasy for us. But if you guys don't get, like, your quick revive on the first couple rounds, all you got to do is just come right here. So jump up on top of this, and what's going to happen is all the zombies are going to come piling in through this door. Nice and easy peasy kills. You know, you guys should be good to go right here for, I mean, you could probably go on limited waves here if you guys play it right, you know. Get yourself some toxic growth, maybe lay it down right there. Do your thing. If you guys do get overwhelmed, all you got to do is jump down and then just come right back, jump on top again, and then they'll all come back here again. I mean, this is a, this is an OP spot right here. All right, so for those of you who don't know how Onslaught works, there's going to be these mini bosses that come every third a surge. All we got to go ahead and do is take out the mini bots. Once we've taken him out, he's going to drop us a bunch of goodies, and goodies being like pack punch chalices. 
uh, you get the tool to upgrade your weapon and stuff like that. Uh, along with a bunch of other goodies, you get a full power up, you know, maybe a combat bow or stuff like that. But at the end of every one that we take out here, it's going to go ahead and it's going to drop us a free perk all the time. So every third surge, we're going to get a free perk. And again, the one we're looking for here is Quick Revive. All right, so we just got our Quick Revive. The next thing we need to do is we need to get another perk to switch where the Quick Revive is located in our perk so right now it's the first well it's the fourth perk right we need it to be like the first one on the list so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do one more elite surge and then after that one the next elite surge if it's a mimic we're gonna go ahead and get into the glitch all right so there we go i just grabbed another perk as you guys seen right there and what that does is it switches our self revive to be our first perk if you guys look right there at the bottom of my screen here I will zoom it in a little bit just so you guys could go ahead and see it. And now we're pretty much ready to go here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to one more surge. And hopefully it's a mimic surge and we'll get into this god mode, baby. All right. So we got ourselves a mimic. Now what we need to do is we need to get ourselves downed by the mimic in the uh, this area back here. Like the out of bounds area. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now as soon as we get over here. So as you guys can see, if we go out of bounds here, it puts you in a restricted area. So we need to go down by the Mimic over here so we can simply crawl out of this. All right, we're then going to crawl into the restriction zone. Sorry, restriction, restriction zone. Wait till the timer counts down. Once it's count down, it's going to start up another one, just like so. As soon as it started up, we are now in the crawling God mode. So if you guys prefer, I mean, you guys could walk around, you guys could crawl around, I mean, go ahead, kill all your zombies, go through waves like this, totally up to you guys. But what we're going to do right now is we need to go ahead and wait for our health to regen itself. So we're going to do that by a shoot, a lot, not shooting, well, we could shoot the zombies too, by either shooting a zombie or knifing a zombie. And that's going to cause the mimic as well to go ahead and pick us up. I mean, we could knife the mimic here too. So we're just going to go ahead and do so. See it. And then he picks us up. Did you guys see that? But we need, we need him to pick us up and bring us back down to zero. All right. So we need him to pick us up and bring us to zero. And then you guys will see it kind of like glitches us, it glitches it out. So let's just go ahead and try this again. Come on, mimic, pick us up, baby, pick us up. Just wait for the mimic to pick you up. It may take a little bit. I mean, he might not grab you right away. There we go. I think, uh, nope, nope. We got we to gotta make it go d back down to zero, you guys. We got to go back down to zero here. There we go. What's going on, Mimic? Mimic, please. Because if we don't do this part, what's going to happen is, is, is we're not going to be in the full God mode here. So we need that Mimic to pick us up and chuck us and put us into the zero here. There we go. So just like that. You guys seen that right there? Now we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to knife one more zombie. Once we knife another zombie here, we're going to go ahead and hold our quick revive, uh, our self revive button down, which would be square for PlayStation. And just like that, you guys, we are up and we are in the no target God mode. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Now you guys could do whatever it is you want in here. You guys could, you know, kill, kill everything, grab more perks, pack a punch. Do whatever it is you guys want to do. This is amazing right here. We could pick up another weapon if we want. Go ahead, pick it up. I mean, just an amazing glitch here, guys. As you can see, nothing is downing me. Super easy peasy. Well, it's kind of easy peasy. It's a little bit better now that I explained everything that you guys need to know about it. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to have fun with this one now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Keep my algorithm real. Subscribe with that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome, excellent videos. Get in the game, glitch something out, have some fun. Until next time, I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.